How's everybody doing? Today we're gonna take apart the manual transmission out of the Saturn. Uh, I got some bad news trying to find parts and a kit and I talked to a supplier and they said some of these parts are not made anymore. Kits are on back order. So I decided not to wait and I'll just tear it down and see it, what parts I actually need. I know it's a third gear synchro, it's what it seems like. And we'll tear it down, see what we got. Um, a shout out to Different Racing. I found these guys online and they have some pretty good instructions on how to disassemble the Saturn manual transmission. So big thanks to them. Looks like I just need some snap ring pliers, some basic hand tools and a mallet. And so we got a dirty bench to work on and a clean bench where we set the parts. And I'll be able to cover them up and keep them clean until we're ready to assemble. So I'm gonna get to it. So the first thing we need to do is take the throw out bearing and the shift the clutch fork off. Get these out of the way. Come down here. I'm gonna drill some holes in the bench. See if we can. I've suggested to bolt it down. Probably get this coil pack off first, then I'll bolt this down and then uh, everything will be secured. I can take it apart. Shift cover off next. It's a shifter. I'll take the end housing off next.
supposed to get this in between in two gears, and then remove these two nuts on the input and the output shaft. Okay, so to get in two gears, I just had to move move this shift lever up, and now we're locked in two gears. It's going to hold it still. It's a 30 millimeter bolt. If these come out. That ain't working. Okay, that didn't work. Push both of these down so they appear to be locked in. See if we can get it all the way Well, getting these snap rings out proved to be very difficult. You got to pop them off through the bearing. In fact, this one slid on the wrong side of the bearing, but now the housing is loose and I should be able to remove it. Now there's a the case, set that down. Metal filings there. Okay, we got the gears out of the case. See the magnet is full. The seal's disintegrated. And I found a piece of plastic in there. These are the reverse gears. Input and the output shaft. And the differential. And what I found inspecting the differential Hard to see. There's a roll pin that's supposed to hold it in. That roll pin is sheared off, but there's no damage yet. So I guess the trick is to get that roll pin welded in. So we'll be working on that. So now I'll dive into looking at the synchronizers. I'll disassemble the shaft here, see what we get. Hey guys, it's been a while since I've worked on this uh, Saturn project and this transmission. Uh, turns out I can't get parts, uh, trying to find synchronizers and parts have just been about impossible. So the plan is the pin here, we need to weld in because the uh, roll pin's busted. So I got a friend who's gonna weld this up for me and I've located a transmission. I'll just buy a good used working transmission, swap out the differential with the welded pin so we don't break it and put new seals in it. I can get those still. So. Most of this we're not going to use. I'm going to put it back together and we'll save it for parts, but I don't think we're going to use this transmission. It has 250,000 miles on it at least anyway, so it's, it's pretty, pretty used up. We got the old got the car out of here. Um, you'll see that right after this. And uh, that's it for now.